It weighs around 350 grams. It pumps about six quarts of blood throughout the body. It beats a hundred times a day, 36 million times per year, and around three billion times in the average lifetime. This is not just an amazing spectacle. It is the heart of human life. Without the heart, the body would quickly cease to function. It is what gives life to the human, and it is much more than just a piece of flesh that pumps blood. Rather, it is the seed and the essence of spiritual life. It is the most precious organ, the first to be formed in the human embryo. It is the king of the body, one that controls every bodily function. It is the center of thought, feeling, emotion, love, intention, determination, bravery, and patience. Through it, a spiritual life. Once Luqman the wise was asked to slaughter a sheep and bring the two best parts of it, he brought the heart and the tongue. He was again told to slaughter a sheep and bring the two worst parts of it. And he brought the heart and the tongue. When he was asked about this, he said, there is nothing better than these if they're good, and there's nothing worse than these if they're bad. Because if the heart is sound, then the whole body is sound. All the limbs are the servants of the heart. So the soundness of the limbs is directly connected with the soundness of the heart. When the heart is healthy, then the limbs too are healthy. The place of taqwa is also the heart, and it is also the seat of perception and understanding. This is why it is of the utmost importance that we purify and cleanse our hearts so that our hearts become salim, qalbun salim, sound hearts. Now, there are many things that cloud the heart, such as doubts, desires, fear, worry, grief, sorrow, anxiety. The solution to all that is to connect the heart to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When there is a void in life, it causes us to be upset. And this feeling is only removed when you get what you want. For example, keys are lost. When you find them, you're at ease. You have some doubt, some question, it keeps you restless. When that question is answered, you're at peace. Similarly, you're thirsty. You drink water. When you drink water, it quenches your thirst. Similarly, my heart and your heart also has a need. And that is the remembrance of Allah. It is the Quran. It is beneficial knowledge. That is the sustenance of the heart. That is the nourishment of the heart. That is what nourishes and sustains the heart. It is the cure. It is the healing. It is shifa. True satisfaction, true contentment and happiness only comes by filling the heart with what it was made for. By using the heart for the purpose it was created for. And that is Allah's worship. That is Allah's remembrance. It is the remembrance of Allah that fills the void and emptiness. It is the word of Allah that heals the ailments of the soul, the ailments of the heart. You have questions, the book of Allah has answers. You have doubts, the book of Allah has clarity. You have worries, the book of Allah has solutions. As you gain knowledge and connect your heart to the Creator, you feel a sense of purpose and belonging. You feel a sense of yearning and hope. And as Allah has promised, Unquestionably, by the remembrance of Allah, hearts are assured, hearts are contented. So we ask Allah to guide our hearts and to fill them with the light of Iman and beneficial knowledge.